We can't talk about good boots if we don't talk about good socks. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Dale of Dale's Leatherworks. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm extremely excited because I'm gonna be talking about boot socks. Now, I did a video recently covering my buddy William at Boots Buy. His brand is known as Camel City Mill Socks. I posed the question, are these the best boot socks? Because they are super good socks. I haven't done many sock videos, but whenever I do do one, I just get lit up in the comments. What about darn tough socks? You haven't tried darn tough socks. You're not qualified to speak on this subject. <laughs> and so maybe I wasn't, but now I have acquired some darn tough socks and I've also acquired some new worn socks. I'm going to be comparing all of them in this video today. Hopefully it won't be too extensive, but I do plan to get pretty technical and pretty down into the weeds. So buckle up because it's going to be a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, in any of my videos, I typically talk about how I normally buy J. Crew socks. I get them all from J. Crew. I get them on sale. I wait for the end of the season and I buy my socks from them. And that's afforded me the ability to get stuff like the, these really cool wool stretch herringbone. This is like a medium to a lightweight sock. Does really well in the winter with dress shoes keeps you warm. I'm not going to get into all the benefits of wool today. Well, I probably will. Up until I started collecting socks from these other brands, uh, these were probably my most comfortable sock. These are from J. Crew, and this is a wool blend. They're very thick, very cozy, and you can't really talk about a sock unless you turn them inside out as well, I've found. As you can see, really good plush on the inside, really cozy, thick wool, but these have warped a lot probably due to the wool. And then additionally to that, they just kind of look kind of ratty now. Now these were originally probably around $30 socks. I would have got these for around 10 bucks at the end of season J. Crew sale. And that's up until recently how I've been buying all my socks. I, I get their premium, premium stuff. I, I watch it like a sniper. And uh, <laughs> when it's ready, ready to go on sale, I just buy them all up. These were some of the first really good quality, high quality, G Crew socks I got. I believe these are Chups, Chup socks. I think they're Japanese made. They're wool blend with all kinds of other stuff, nylons, cottons, and they're just super cool looking. Now these were originally $35 and beautiful design to these. I love it. I love that little cross there. It looks really cool in my boots. Like I said, I've had these probably five to seven years. I've been wearing these, I think probably since 2014 is when I got them. I would have got them for about 12 bucks. I was really excited because they were in all the J. Crew style catalogs, showing them off. But I will say, I hate wearing these socks. The experience of wearing these socks, it sucks, frankly. It's hard to get my foot in there. I'm a nine Brannock. These are just a standard one size fits all. It's really hard to get my foot in there. And so I really actually kind of dread putting these on. In addition to that, on the inside, I'm having a hard time even getting opening up the inside. On the inside, you can see all these loose, scraggly, like threads. Like, see, you get your toe stuck in that. The thread isn't busted. And so you get your toe stuck in there and then you have to pull your foot out, try to get it back in. It, it sucks. These are probably like a knit sock. So you can see all these other areas where your, your toe could get stuck as you're trying to get it in. Not to mention the stretch in these is not good either. Like I said, very difficult to get my feet in there in the morning. There's not much wool in here because I don't get much good insulation. The only reason I keep them around is again, aesthetically, they look really cool. It's sort of a uh, trophy in my collection. I have I have quite a few like these, uh, the Chup and the Anonymous Ism socks from J. Crew. I didn't learn how to sew from leather work. I actually taught myself how to so, so that I could repair some of these J. Crew socks because they're not always like the best quality. They're very, very good quality. Don't get me wrong. They're far better than anything you're going to get at Target or from Walmart or anything like that. So I'm not trying to say these are junk. They're absolutely not junk. And I haven't needed to repair these, but I, I did just recently toss some socks that I couldn't repair them anymore. They'd get a hole. I'd sew it shut, form another hole, sew it shut. Eventually, all it comprises is like sewn up stitch marks. At that point, they're just not comfortable. And at that point, just, just toss them. Well, in my case, I have a burn pit out back and I just, I burn all my, all my undesirable cardboard and uh, wool and cotton products that are 
beyond repair in a state of disrepair. And so, yeah, J. Crew, they've served me well. I'll still occasionally look on their website to spy to see if there's any good deals going on, but I have been a cheapskate up till now. I've mostly just allocated all my additional money towards good boots, as you can see behind you here. Um, another side note, since we're getting really nitty gritty with socks, I have three sock drawers and they're all chock full. <laughs> they're all filled with socks. Summer weight, winter weight, heavy cotton, heavy wool, lightweight wool, everything in between. And the, the sock that you choose for the day is important. It, it depends on a lot of factors, but namely the temperature. If it's hot outside, I don't want a thick sock, whether it's cotton or wool. If it's freezing outside, I want the thickest wool sock I can reach for. I never wear wool in the summer. I know some guys do, I do not. Summers, it's all cotton. Winters, mostly all wool. I'll still reach for my cotton socks in the winter, thick cotton socks, if it's not gonna be too cold of a day. That's just a little bit on, on my sock discipline mindset. <laughs> I had the pleasure and the honor to review some of Williams, aka Boot Spies, heavyweight winter wool sock, as well as his lightweight wool work sock. William designed his socks to be supportive, tough. Bottom line up front, the downside to Camel City Mill socks, they really only come in a handful of colors. But this one, the lightweight wool work sock, is gray and black. It's got a cool American flag there, I love that. And then as you can see on the inside, you have a good padding here in the heel, and then no padding here in the center, and then padding in the toes. And that's all by design. He designed these for all day comfort. The natural fibers in these socks vent sweat and moisture away from your foot, which not only keeps you more comfortable, but prevents blisters. The high density knit we use allows for padding around the heel, ball, and instep of your foot, so even the toughest boots feel comfortable. They weave spandex and nylon into their fabric to create light compression around the arch of your foot. The compression helps circulation, which helps your recovery time so your feet still feel fresh the day after putting in 14 hours on the job site. They also design their socks specifically with no sweat venting along the metatarsal, the top of your foot, to keep airflow high and the moisture low. And so as you can see, at the top of the sock, there's no padding, and that allows for the metatarsal area to breathe. Brilliant, and I'll get into why that is important later. As I compare these Camel City Mill socks to the other ones, you'll see that they don't have this same anatomy. Now for the heavyweight wool work sock, so these have replaced my J. Crew socks as my favorite. After releasing the video on these and realizing I needed to try some of these other brands, I was wearing these religiously. They're very comfortable. They are kind of expensive. The lightweight are 25. These heavyweight are $27. These are extremely comfortable, cushy padding all around your foot. Um, I was wearing them a lot with my custom craft stitch down patina Thunderdome pair. Um, it's a super wide, comically wide boot. And uh, I just feel so at home in these socks and that boot particularly. I really love the feel of that. So the heavyweight wool work sock is made with Ironside Merino wool, which is 35% better at wicking sweat when compared to polyester socks, which is what most sweat wicking brands use. This wool has natural thermoregulation that keeps your feet warm in winter and cool in summer. It is backed by a 10 year guarantee. One single thread of Ironside Merino wool from a Camel City Mill sock is strong enough to pick up a 15 pound weight, confident in their durability. Proudly made in the USA. Even their sheep are American. Yes, I like that. So I haven't worn these for very long, but one thing I could tell you about wool is that the way that wool is, it's, it's a miracle material, but it's not always been my favorite as evidenced by these J. Crew ones. They warp, they get fuzzy. The way that wool works is uh, it's kind of like Velcro. The more it rubs against itself, it starts to compact. So that's why wool socks, in my experience, have never lasted as long as cotton socks. Cotton is the fabric of our lives, after all. <laughs> so cotton socks uh, always retain their shape. That's why I've rarely thrown away any cotton socks. I have cotton socks that are probably 15 years old, and uh, they just hold up like forever. It's, it's pretty wild, actually. So cotton doesn't compact in on itself like wool does. Then again, wool will keep you warm even if you are wet, which is miraculous. Never underestimate the power of nature, folks. I've been washing these standard. I've just been letting them air dry. I do not put wool 
into the dryer. And I can tell you that unlike some of my J. Crew wool socks, these have not seemed to warp at all so far. These are holding up tremendously, these Camel City Mill thick wool socks. So are, so are the lightweight ones. They're holding up, they're holding their shape tremendously. I don't notice any sort of warping or undesirable uh, change in the appearance or feel of the socks as I have worn them. William did his research. He put in a lot of hard science into the design of these socks and uh, they're great. I'll leave links to Camel City Mill in the description below. Next up, let's talk about the Darn Tough socks. So I reached out to Darn Tough to see if they'd be willing to send me some for review and I never got a response. <laughs> but that will in no way alter the integrity of what I'm about to say. I got three pairs. I only have two here. So Darn Tough is priced uh, pretty competitively with Camel City Mill. Their socks seem to range from $25 to $30-ish. So I bought the Men's Hiker Micro Crew Midweight Hiking Sock which I don't have, those are in the wash. I bought those in the dark teal color, which are really nice. So it says, from the AT to the Pacific Crest Trail, our 1466 hiker raised the bar on what the ultimate hiking sock needs to deliver. Each year we hear from countless through hikers that this rugged sock is the only option that truly takes on the rigors of the trail. Discover the trail legend for yourself. So they're eight and a half inches from heel to cuff. A performance fit means no slipping, no bunching, no blisters. The 1466 is an iconic sock. Reinforced with footbed and Achilles cushion improves the comfort of the socks and helps them last longer. Made with merino wool, it's at home on the trail naturally, moving moisture to keep your feet fresh and dry in all weather. It's an all season midweight sock designed to thermoregulate to wrap feet in a steady comfort when temperatures change. Still made in Vermont, USA, which is really cool. Unconditionally guaranteed for life. If these aren't the la longest lasting socks you've ever owned, return them for another pair. So it's got cushion. Micro Crew hiking socks feature soft terry loops underfoot and targeted protection over the ankle and Achilles, the most popular cushion style. So they do say to machine wash in cold water on gentle cycle. Do not bleach, tumble dry on low or hang dry. Do not dry clean. It's 61% merino wool. 36% nylon, 3% lycra spandex. All right, so moving on to the next pair that I bought. This is the men's William Jarvis boot, midweight work sock, and I bought the timber color. They do offer sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large, whereas Camel City Mill only offers large and extra large currently. So again, with Camel City Mill, you don't have as many options, but the large I find fit me perfectly. This Jarvis, merino wool sock. It's a mid-weight sock. You can pair it with work boots, leather boots. So this one averages 11 inches from heel to cuff. So I love the design, the aesthetic of these. I think the timber color is really cool. It's like a drab brown, maybe some olive in there along with black. I like the logo, the branding. Darn tough. It says darn tough on the toes. I like that. And then, uh, so let's turn them inside out and get a look at what's going on on the inside. So it does have some design to it. It's not just all one thing. So at the collar area, we have rib knit at the top, and then we have this really nice cozy sort of insulation fuzzy area here. And then it's rib knit just right here on sort of the ankle area. And then the rest of it is this really cushy, cushy uh, weave going on. The toes do not have that cushiness, I assume to allow the toes to breathe out. Is this a miracle sock? To me, it's in terms of comfort, I'm not gonna call them unremarkable, but they're good. I mean, am I super impressed by them? Not exactly. I think the Camel City Mill, the construction of those is a little bit more sophisticated. The interior design, if you will, is a little better. But that said, these are great socks. I mean, they're extremely comfortable. They keep me warm throughout the day in the cold winter. And so from that perspective, I have no complaints. They're comfortable. I give them a B plus. Do I wanna stock my entire sock collection with these? These are $27, all right? So yes, they're made in Vermont. I like that. I love supporting American made. But to stock an entire sock drawer with all these would be pretty dang large investment. And so for that reason, I think, you know, buy a pair, see how you like them. Make sure you know your size and make sure you know your style. Uh, my buddy Mike Smith, he swears by Darn Tough. And yes, they are really good. Don't get me wrong. The plus side to Darn Tough, you've got a 
darn of a lot of options, pun intended there. I don't know if that made any sense, but you have a lot of color options and sizing options. Like I said, small through extra large, so four sizing out options, and then they offer almost every single sock in multiple colors, which is a lot of fun. You gotta have fun with your, with your socks. You gotta get experimental with colors and stuff because it's not something anybody else is gonna see, but you see it and that is important in my mind. Kind of like Bordeaux boots, they have that orange inner lining. Not that anybody else is gonna see it, but you do and it's fun. It adds to the cool factor. Finally, I opted for the $31 T4033 boot heavyweight tactical sock with full cushion. Now, if that doesn't sound like an amazing sock, I don't know what would. <laughs> it's full cushion. I bought the foliage green color. It looks like a kind of a standard issue army sock. It's, it's pretty monotone from the outside. Um, it does say T4033 and darn tough on the toe, and it does have the little Vermont mountains at the collar here, but aside from that, it's a very standard design, kind of kind of a plain design, but that's okay. We won't hold that against them. And let's turn them on the inside. So yeah, full cushion all the way through from the uh, collar all the way to the toe, full cushion. And yes, these are freaking comfortable. I love these. These are also right at home in my custom craft stitch down patina Thunderdome boots. I'm always excited to put these on because I know I'm just gonna, I'm just wrapped in a warm cloud of wool all day. So that said, these are absolutely awesome. My favorite of the three darn tough socks, no doubt about it. I will also say I haven't noticed any major warping yet from just washing in the standard medium temperature water and then I let them air dry. Again, I do not, I do not tumble dry on low. No, I, I'm, I worry that that would cause these to shrink. So it's rated by the US Air Force, safe to fly, certified and Nav Air SOA approved. This is an extreme cold weather mountaineering boot sock designed for extreme cold climates and rugged terrain. This is the warmest sock featuring full Terry loop cushioning throughout the ma throughout for maximum warmth. Elastic support at arch, reinforced heel and toe for increased durability. Okay, so yeah, the Terry loop is what what you want to see on the inside of a sock and that's that's good that they have that because uh, these chup socks, these are not Terry Loop. These are like yarn <laughs> almost. And yeah, it's not good. That's, that's, not, that's not ideal. You're gonna get your toes stuck in there when you're trying to get them on. Yeah, the Camel City Mill, also Terry Loop. All through the collar, except for the metatarsal area, and then full Terry Loop cushioning throughout the bottom. So pretty cool. Whereas the Darn Tough, Terry looped even on top of the metatarsal area. Whereas, yeah, like I said, Camel City Mill, no Terry loop cushioning on the top. Minor differences, but for boot nerds like me, these are major differences. There's no such thing as a minor difference to a boot nerd, to a true boot nerd. <laughs> so these darn tough socks are Berry Amendment compliant tactical socks. They're knit with merino wool that is raised, sourced, and produced in the United States. U.S. Air Force safe to fly certified meeting flame resistant and no melt, no drip requirements for wearing next to skin under approved flame resistant combat and utility uniforms. A military grade fiber, merino wool protects foot health and is durable, ultra durable in the toughest conditions. Heavyweight work socks hold heat and are breathable and padded for full protection in, in cold weather. Still made in Vermont. So that is cool. And last but not least, let's get into this new brand that just came onto my radar. These three are from the Worn Company, Worn Socks. Now, they don't just sell socks. They sell briefs and tees. They sell mid-layers. They sell boxer briefs. And so they came with this nice bag. Knit with Aero Wool. Performance Enhanced Merino. Worn, wear what lasts. Comfort in all conditions. At Worn, we've removed all non-compostable plastics from our packaging to better support the planet we love to explore. It's one of the many ways we're reducing our footprint and helping you to reduce yours as well. Please continue supporting Earth-conscious companies where you can. Change is up to all of us. Well, I can happily say that, that these socks are Greta Thunberg approved. <laughs> How dare you! I see you, Greta. So, let's start with their Everyday Enhanced Sock. This is the crew sock, and you can currently get a 
three pack for $48, which is pretty good. Markedly cheaper than the other brands mentioned here. And this color is the blue steel. Now I just love the look of these. I'm a sucker for blue as evidenced by my sweater today, my marled blue sweater. <laughs> these are beautiful socks, really pretty to look at. Uh, they have a really cool like square box stitched into there, which is cool. And then we've got a marled appearance along the rib on the ankle area and then a cool like flecked bottom here really cool really i really love the marled pattern in clothing and then on the inside we've got terry knit on the bottom and then the top is all open on the metatarsal area so let's read a little bit about this designed to, to provide the perfect balance of dryness comfort and support worn everyday enhanced sock will help melt away long hours on your feet knit with our performance enhanced merino aero wool this pair will keep you feeling comfy and dry all day and light on your feet through the extra hours so the features are that it lasts longer it outperforms cotton with four times the lifespan invest in durability stay dry all day with aero wool performance enhanced merino it offers advanced wicking technology and ensures you're moisture free from morning to night. All around support 360 degrees. Art support for a confident and stable stride every step of the way. The thoughtfully designed heel reduces strain on your feet during long adventures. The medium cushion footbed with our unique wash fit technology, your socks refit perfectly with every wash. So it's a blend of 35% organic merino wool, 29% abrasion resistant nylon, 30% performer polyester and 4% elastane. So that's cool that they have the unique wash fit technology so that they refit perfectly with every wash, which is always an issue with wool. So anybody making socks with merino wool is cognizant of this and they do their best to ensure that these will hold up to the long term. So these are a mid to a lightweight sock. They'd probably categorize this as medium weight, but I could see myself wearing these in the summer because they are just that lightweight. I haven't experimented around with wearing merino wool in warmer weather yet, but I'm going to this summer just to, just to test it out. These would be a good alternative to a dress sock. They're very lightweight. Next up, we've got the work boot sock. I love these. These are so cool. It's like a cool blend of grays and orange and yellows. Really gnarly design there. Really cool orange square detail at the top there. And this is in the blaze color. So the work boot sock was designed for days that call for heavier wear. Knit with a full cushion arrow wool for enhanced comfort. Targeted 70D abrasion resistant nylon for extended life. Pair with steel toe or standard work boots. So this one is tailored for boots and I agree. Optimal boot height ensuring seamless compatibility with any work boot. Plush comfort with full cushion aero wool promises enhanced comfort and persistent dryness on long work days. With 360 degree arch support, enjoy a secure and stabilized fit during the toughest task. Consistently cozy fit. So this is knit from Warren's patented performance enhanced merino aero wool to offer the perfect balance of organic fibers and technical features. This one's 48% organic merino wool, 22% abrasion resistant nylon, 24% Coolmax performer polyester, and 6% elastane. And uh, yeah, all in all, this is the middle ground. This is what I would consider a medium to a thick weight sock. A lot of good cushion. And then on the inside, we've got the Terry knit cushioning both on the bottom and on the top, all throughout the ankle too, which is good. Last, and certainly not least, my favorite of the three worn socks. This one's gonna be the Winter Work Boot Calf Height, and uh, bigger is always better. And uh, this one is in the My Boy Blue color. The cold climate companion to your hard working boots or snow gear. The winter work boot offers full cushion aero wool terry throughout the interior of the product. No shortcuts here. This will quickly become a staple of your cold weather outings. Moderates climate in all conditions for comfort on the move and warmth sitting still. Pair with work boots, snow boots, and muck boots. I'm a snowboarder on occasion and uh, if I were to go snowboarding, these would be the ones I'd probably reach for. All the thick ones, these darn tough ones, as well as the Camel City Mills. 
and hell, I might even double up on some of them. I hope that's not too blasphemous for some of you. <laughs> this one features mid-calf full cushion insulation, best for cold and going anyway occasions. I just love the look of these. So we've got nice marled blue ribbed patterning along the shin area and then nice lightweight but stretchy ribbed ribbing at the collar and then yellow throughout it says worn on the toe let's turn her inside out wow look at all that terry knit insulation like they said no corners cut it's terry knit insulation basically from the collar area down all through the toes all underneath all along the sole area so this is ideal for winter weight mid calf design ensures optimal warmth and coverage supreme cold comfort full cushion aero wool 360 degree arch support ensuring stability even in slippery weather conditions and this one is knit from warren's patented performance enhanced merino aero wool this one's 55 percent organic merino wool, 27% abrasion resistant nylon, 8% modal, I don't know what that is, 6% Coolmax performer polyester, and 4% elastane. Yes, they are quite stretchy. These feel more stretchy than these medium weight ones, even though these have more elastane technically. So what is the worn arrow wool anyways? It's the most advanced wool fabric on the market today. Created by Warren, it re represents the next stage in the evolution of merino wool footwear. Aero wool socks combine merino's lightweight and insulating properties with technical enhancements in the production process to keep them soft, durable, and great at wicking moisture. They do say that wool socks are good in the summer, even the hottest summer days. They offer, as far as warranty goes, they offer a one-year absolute warranty on all of their products. So their warranties aren't as good as Williams at Camel City Mill, which is 10 years and Darn Tufts, which is a lifetime, which is a crazy warranty. And uh, Warren is also, they're designed in Hudson Valley, New York, but they are sourced globally. So these aren't 100% American made, which might explain some of the more affordable pricing that they have on some of their socks. All right, so is Darn Tough the best sock? Well, I'd say all these socks are basically on par with one another. I don't think Darn Tough is better than any of these other two newer competitors. I'm really excited about Worn because they offer just an array of socks and an array of colors. So they're kind of taking from Darn Tough's variety and capitalizing on that. In my opinion, both Worn and Darn Tough have a lot of fun color options. Um, but that said, I'm probably gonna have the most fun wearing the Worn socks. Just based on what I have currently, this isn't all encompassing because both brands do offer so many. But that said, the Camel City Mill, I could tell they put a little bit more effort into their design. For that reason, Camel City Mill, I think have, has some of the best design going on. The downside is not a huge variety. You have black and gray and you have gray and black, basically at this point. I'm sure William will expand. In terms of just overall excitedness, like which ones am I most excited to grab, reach for? Uh, yeah, probably my Camel City Mill and the worn ones. These worn ones are just so much fun. I love the color pops in those. There's a lot to consider, but I think all three make a phenomenal sock. So my hat's off to all three companies. You're all doing something amazing. And I will leave links to all three websites in the description below. So go click those and check those out if you need some new socks. I hope this information helped you guys along in your sock journey. I can't pick a winner because, well, I'm too big of a coward, but also <laughs> all three have their applications and their their pros and cons. And so I'm not going to I'm not going to list these out in in terms of my preference because all of them, I prefer all of them in their own way if that makes sense. Same with boots. I can't always just pick it. If I'm going to pick a favorite, it's going to be off the top of my head and it's going to be spontaneous and my mind could change later. And so that's why I don't like picking favorites because, you know, one of these socks might be my favorite with a certain boot and in a certain condition compared to another one. It's just so variable. All three get worn, I can tell you that, and all three are champions in my book. Anyways, with that, I'll shut it down. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. What is your favorite sock brand? Please tell me in the comments below. I'm Dale Dale's Leatherworks. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.